Hello guys, this is Gamo Edits. In today's video, I will share with you the process on how to make these simple animated shapes here in PowerPoint. The major key point of this tutorial is the Morph Transition, which is available in Microsoft 2019 and 365. But before we start this tutorial, I would like to share this website I've discovered and it is called as Master Bundles. Master Bundles is a marketplace of digital products such as fonts, graphics, templates, presentations, and more related design. Since 2016, Master Bundles unite the world community of designers who sell digital goods or bundled templates. If you want to market your design and earn, then Master Bundle is one of the examples of such platforms. It is a beginners-friendly company that is growing fast nowadays. This marketplace has only 50% commission from your sales and moderation is very easy. Here are some of the designs that contributors usually create in this platform. There are many categories that you can cover as a designer and be noticed by thousands of regular clients because competition here is much lower compared to other marketplaces. You can sell your deal easily by just uploading your file, your title, some file preview, add category, set your own price, media, description, tags, then you're all set. You don't need to create or rent your own shop since Master Bundles will do the marketing. You can withdraw your profit starting from 50 USD any day of the month via Payoneer or PayPal. If you're looking for digital goods or interested in becoming a contributor and earn money from your designs, then check the description for the link. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create a presentation template that could be sold at Master Bundles. As you noticed, I already have the slides and it is important to consider the consistency in terms of your color palette, fonts, and designs. The major key point of this tutorial is the Morph Transition which is available in Microsoft 2019 and 365. Before we apply the Morph Transition in the slides, let us first know how this transition actually works. So I added here a circle shape in the first slide. And then duplicate the slide. And under the second slide, I will move the circle from left to right. I will then select the two slides and apply the Morph Transition. Now let's try how it looks when we present it. Morph Transition will help you make smooth animations, transitions, and object movement across the slides in your presentation. We can see here how the circle moves from left to right, from slide 1 to slide 2. Now let's try if we change the circle shape to a triangle one. Let's see if it will work. So we don't see the morph transition because the two shapes are completely different. From slide one a circle to slide two with a triangle. But we can still do morph transition between these two different shapes with the naming scheme which is simply to begin an object name with two exclamation points and to assign the same custom name to the two objects. You can change the name of the shapes under the Home tab, Arrange, then Selection pane. Make sure they have the same name in the Selection pane for the transition to work. Now let's see if this worked this time. So it is successful. We can now see the morph transition between two different shapes as long as they have the same name scheme in the selection pane. I will duplicate the second slide in order for the triangle to exit. Under slide 3, I will move the triangle to the right or outside the slide. Now let's see the result. From circle 1 in slide 1, to triangle in slide 2 and exit in slide 3. Now moving on to the original slides, the first thing I need to do is to apply the morph transition for all slides. Now I would like to begin in the second slide and have the entrance for these presenters. So the first thing you need to do is to change the name scheme for each picture and shape. So arrange, selection pane, and then add two exclamation points in the beginning of each name. 
for all the pictures as well as to the shapes so we will add two exclamation points for each name scheme of the shapes now that we're all set we need to select them all and then copy to previous slide or we will copy it in the first slide then paste and now we will move it to the right so the direction of the presenters will be from the right to the center in the slide 2. Now let's see the result. So this is the slide 1. And here is the slide 2 where the presenters made their entrance from the right. So slide 1 again and slide 2. Now if we want to have these presenters to have their exit, we will just copy it once again and paste it on the next slide and this time we will move it to the left so their, e so their exit will be to the left so slide 1 slide 2 the presenters entrance and slide 3 the exit for the presenters now if we want to animate this rectangular and these five vertical lines then we need to do the same but actually, you don't really need to apply the two exclamation point in the name scheme in this situation since we will morph identical shapes from slide to slide. But just to make sure that it will morph correctly, then we will just add the two exclamation points. After renaming, we will just select the shapes. So these rectangular shapes and these five vertical lines, we will copy it from the previous and paste it in the previous slides and now we will just select these five and move downwards so that the direction of that will be from below and the, and this rectangular shape to the right or to the left so that's it slide two and slide three but this time we will just select this one and send it to the back to avoid the overlapping so let's try it again presenters view and then the exit for presenters and the entrance for the rectangular shapes you can see how smooth the transition because of the morph and now the same as the previous we will add the exit for the shapes and the first thing we need to do is the cop to copy and we will paste it on the next slide and we will move it downwards and we will just add the two exclamation points in here so it the, the rectangle will move from left to right since inside three the rectangle is in the left position and the rectangle here in slide four is in the right now let's see the movement of the rectangle is from the left to the right and the five vertical lines from up to down now if we would like to have a delay effect in the morph transition then you will apply um, different distance so you can see here the delay effect for these vertical lines so you can do that by just adding some space but now we would like to animate these three circles so we will just add the three or the two exclamation points so copy and from the previous slide so they will have an entrance so we will move this one upwards this sidewards and this one to downwards and let's see from current slide we'll see the entrance of the circles so that's it the circles in and now, since these circles are present in the next slide, then we will just change the name scheme of this tree. The same as the name scheme from the previous slide. So we will just add two exclamation points. So the morph transition will, will work. So let's see, we will add and then from current slide to the next slide. So the morph transition 
will also be visible since they have the same name scheme. Now we want to animate this as well. So I'm just going to add two exclamation points for these three diamond shapes. So I'm just going to select it, copy and paste it in the previous slides and then move it upwards and just give them um, a little space for each other to achieve the delay effect for the morph transition. So let's see the movement of the diamond shapes from up to down. We see also the delay for the white shape. And now we will also apply the same name scheme here since they are identical in shape. The two exclamation points and to this one. And now let's see. Let's see the movement. So there you go. The movement for the morph transition. And now if you would like to add the exit for the diamond shape and for the text box, we'll just select them all. And if you want to add the text box, so I'm just gonna add the two exclamation points as well on its name just to make sure. So I'm just gonna select, copy, and paste it on the next slide, and then move it downwards. So the exit effect for the diamond shapes will be downwards. Now if we would like to add some effect here for the text box and for the text, so I'm just gonna add two exclamation points for each text box and for the text. So I named them as S1, S2, S3 for the shapes and T1, T2, T3, T3, and T4. And after that, I'm just gonna select them all, copy, and paste it on the previous slides. And now I'm just gonna select the fourth text box and the second text box and move it to the right. So their direction or the their entrance direction will be from the right and this remaining two to the left so we can see the opposite direction or the opposite direction for the entrance and now let's see this slide to the next slide so we can see the varying direction or the varying entrance direction for the text box and now let's copy it once again for the exit so we will just select the shapes and the text box, copy, and then paste on the next slide. Now, the fourth text box and the second will be moved to the left since the direction of the entrance is from the right. And we will do the opposite for the remaining text box. And now let's see the preview. So we will start from the slide. So there you go. That's how Morph Transition actually works. So you can explore the slides in here and apply more Transition with regards or with respect to the Morph Transition. And here is the final preview for the simple animated shapes in PowerPoint. I hope you learned something for today. And if you have questions or content suggestions, don't hesitate to share it in the comment section. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.